Hey guys, it's Joe again, uh, back out here on my deck with this beautiful view behind me. just want to share a little bit with you tonight. Uh, the topic is, you have not because you ask not. Let me tell you this great truth. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. Now I want to ask you something. How many of you guys have ever asked for something? Now I don't mean just you know something that would be nice, but something that you really need. I know I do and I have often. Well let me ask you this. Do you realize that one of the greatest sources of pride that you could have is to say, look, I don't need anybody, I don't need anything, I don't need any help. I'm telling you right now, sometimes we just have to ask for help. If you look at my Facebook profile and read under my cover story, you'll see the whole story, kind of a summation of my life, you'll see I've moved 19 times. Do you think I would move 19 times without asking for help? I'll tell you what, some of the people watching this, some of the people that, are, that I have as dear friends, they have helped me so many times of those 19 times moving to get moved. Now I'll tell you, it would have been a catastrophe if I tried doing it by myself. And so those friends had helped me time and time again. Why? Because I asked them. If I just sat there and said, oh, I can do this myself, I don't need any help, I would have been miserable and probably even hurt myself in the process. So I'm encouraging you, when you have a need, ask somebody to help you. Trust me, there are so many people in your life that you may not even realize, they're just waiting for you to say, hey, um, can you help me with this? And you see, when you do that, don't think of it as, well, I might inconvenience them. Look at it more as the fact that you're going to be able to bless them because I'm telling you, it blesses me when I'm able to help people. When I'm able to look people in the, in the face and say, hey, I'm, I'm glad I could help you. And they look at me and say, thank you so much. It gives me a source of pride and, and accomplishment knowing that I help somebody else. And the whole question of asking. Did you know that 99% of the jobs that I had I would have never had them if I hadn't asked. So I had to ask first. If you think about the adventures I've told you about, about going up Mount St. Helens, well guess what? I couldn't just show up and go. I had to, to put in a permit. I had to request to go up to that mountain. Now I could look at it and say, oh, there's probably no chance I could go, or yeah, there's probably too many people going already. But instead, I went ahead and put in a request. I asked, and I got to go up and see this amazing experience that so few, so few people have seen. And that's what's happened over and over again. When I left college and I was going into the Army, guess what? I didn't get active duty like I thought I was going to. I didn't have a single resume out because I knew, because I was a scholarship winner, I was going to the Army. Everything changed. I didn't get active duty. So I went to my basic course, and guess what? I asked to compete for an active duty slot. Now I could have said, oh, there's no way I'll ever get it. But instead, I asked, and I started working hard towards that goal, and I got it. Why? Because I've asked. If I never asked, I never would have gotten it. And so I got to have a great experience being in the military. If you see, uh, notice I've been to 30 countries. A lot of those countries happened because I was stationed in Germany. Because for me, a car ride, you know, a, a picnic, afternoon picnic, it was like, hmm, do I want to go to France or do I want to go to Luxembourg for this picnic? Oh, no, we went to Luxembourg last week. Let's go to France this week. Why did that happen? Roll it all the way back to where I asked to compete for this active duty slot. If I hadn't have asked, never would have happened. I could have been stuck in a job here instead of traveling the world. And so I encourage you, anything you have in your life, there's going to be times in your life that you have to ask. You can't just sit there and wait for things to fall out of the sky into your lap. And sometimes they will. Sometimes you'll have blessings that you never asked for. And that's great. But sometimes you have to ask. One of the greatest examples is my beautiful wife that I have. You know what? If I never would have asked her to marry me, guess what? I might not be married today. But I asked her right over in Panther Creek Park and took a knee in the middle of a, of a heart shape in the middle of the grass and I asked that lady to marry me and thankfully she said yes. Why? Because I asked. And she said yes, I would love to. So I'm telling you folks, no matter what's going on in your life, no matter where you are, there's times that you're just going to have to ask. Either you have to ask for something that you want or you're going to have to ask to help. Don't, don't be so prideful that you tell yourself, I don't need anybody. There's nobody out there that, that I need. I can do it all on my own. I'll tell you what, I ask people every day. I'm in the technology field. I have people surrounding me that are so much smarter than I am in certain areas. And I may be smarter than them in other areas. But guess what? We work as a team and I ask questions. I don't just head, uh, head off you know, full steam and think I know everything. Because sometimes I just have to ask. So I encourage you today, no matter where you are in life, ask. Whether it's just asking a question, whether it's asking for help, whether it's asking for something that you really need or really want, go ahead and ask. Maybe it's a raise at your job. 
ask. Guess what? Chances are if you don't ask, you may never get one. But go ahead and ask. So today, no matter what's ahead of you, ask and it's going to be given to you. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, look forward to seeing you tomorrow night.